But if you're smart enough, you always find a workaround. So you're just pushing behavior into a different, not yet restricted subdomain. We, we should probably define some terms here. So there's narrow intelligence, which can play chess or whatever. There's the artificial general intelligence, which can operate across domains. And then super intelligence, which is smarter than all humans in all domains. And where are we? So that's a very fuzzy boundary, right? We definitely have many excellent narrow systems, no question about it. And they are super intelligent in that narrow domain. So uh, protein folding is a problem which was solved using narrow AI, and it's superior to all humans in that domain. In terms of AGI, again, I said, if we showed what we have today to a scientist from 20 years ago, they would be convinced we have full-blown AGI. We have systems which can learn, they can perform in hundreds of domains, and they're better than human in many of them. Mm -hmm. So you can argue we have a weak version of AGI. 